Yeah, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for snowboarding. For me, it means surfing at the end, really. This is actually a water ski, and this to me looked like the perfect idea for making a snowboard. So I built this thing. I thought snowboarding, that's my way of surfing. I feel like Tommy gets overlooked sometimes. He's been contributing to snowboarding since I was one years old, since way before I started snowboarding. EFT means earth, freedom, tranquility. That's actually what snowboarding is all about. No hectic moves, you know, mellow, be mellow. Just ride it. Let the board ride you, actually. Don't mess with the board. So I have been told by somebody, contact Tommy DeLago, he knows everything. Then I sent him an, a fax, not an email. Dear Mr. DeLago, can we meet and blah, blah, blah. 1989-90 Sims catalog. That's when we started Nitro. A brand that's gonna hang on from 1990 and still pull it off with probably one of the heaviest teams in snowboarding right now. Any kid that snowboards in any style can look at Nitro as a company that is influencing all sides of snowboarding. Like the main owners of my main sponsor, if I respect them and respect their operating style, that's really important to me to be able to promote a brand that I know the two people who own it. We lost a lot of people to skiing again who have been snowboarders, but the sport was not their sport anymore because they did not identify with all these flying people all the time. That's a huge problem that we created ourselves. Parents see this and they see an image of snowboarding that is basically a sport that's happening in the air. They think of it as an extreme sport where it's really just a fun sport. We want to do and what we want to accomplish these days is like let people know that snowboarding is a fun hobby and a fun sport to do. Now I think it has to go back a bit more to its roots and be like, all right, so what can we be? What can't we be? That's probably the thing that I like about this whole snowboard movement now, that it's going back to what brought me into snowboarding in the first place. I think I have the exact same amount of fun when I snowboard today than when I had late 70s, you know. <laughs>